Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Dell Optiplex all-in-one system, the 5250 model. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. Now, before we get going, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's all the way powered off. Make sure the power cord is unplugged. We're gonna flip it over, lay it flat on the screen. Make sure there's nothing underneath that can damage or scratch it. And then we're gonna go at it from the rear, try to get that panel off. Okay, so to get the stand off, there's a button right here underneath it. I'm gonna push that button down and then lift up from here to get that stand off. And the stand comes right up like that. So after removing that stand, there's no screws you have to take out. We're just gonna pry this panel up from this end here. So I'm gonna take a small flat screwdriver and very carefully just put it under there, pop this up very gently, you can see I'm just going around the bottom, try not to put it way far in, just on the edge, and you can pop that right up. So after taking that panel off, this is what it's looking like for the inside of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet, are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the 5250, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the things I use in my shop, and again, all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Right here, you have this metal panel to access some more components. Again, no screws, this is a very nice computer to work on. There's just a pull tab here. So you push that down a little bit and then slide it that way. And that panel comes right off pretty easily. This is your CMOS battery right there. The CMOS battery is held in this cradle. It's held in by a spring-loaded mechanism here and it's held down by these two grips right there. Below in the description in that link I told you about with all of the tools and replacement parts for this model computer, I will have a CMOS battery replacement option there if you're looking to replace it. If you're looking to reset BIOS, you don't necessarily need to replace the battery, you just need to remove it for maybe 15-20 seconds and that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Uh, one word of caution with that operation, in most cases, this will only reset your BIOS system settings and not your BIOS password. For more information on the BIOS password reset, check out the FAQs below in the description. The way to remove the battery is you put pressure a little bit down here, and then you push in there towards that spring to pop it up out of the cradle. Be very careful because these cradles are fragile. Uh, if you put too much pressure on, you can snap one of these ends, and then you can't get that CMOS battery back there. Um, it, it won't secure back down again. If you guys have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description below. It could save you some time getting an answer. But if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.